a Craftsman Liftmaster garage door opener. Uh, when we just bought this house a couple days ago, this one garage door opener out of the floor didn't work. And took the K-Burt cover off, and uh, you can see there's tons of white debris everywhere. And it ends up that the uh, wheel here, the teeth are pretty much eight pieces. So found a kit, ordered it. New teeth look a whole lot better. Gonna take out the old piece, put it in. But basically took all the uh, so I get that balance. Took all the screws out from the casing, put them in a little bag where I could keep up for it. Uh, this one's mounted pretty much flush with the ceiling, so I'm gonna end up having to take off all the screws that are holding it onto the track and loosen it up to get it off the track, but there's a bolt over here, probably a bolt on the other side, and there's one. Can't even get the camera up to see it, but right here. So after I get the tension off of the belt here, I'm gonna take it off, take it down, and turn the power off before tension it goes. off. That way we can disconnect it over there. We've the got it down, we're taking out. There's a bolt here, there's one here, and there's one up under here. We're gonna take this clip off that's right here, and then we'll be able to take this whole assembly out going down. So we got them out, and it looks like this one was eight to pieces, like we were thinking. The new one looks a whole lot better. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and replace our worm gear here. Get a light. The worm gear in this one is starting to get ate up really bad. Um, up here in this bearing assembly, just use an Allen wrench. Uh, this little black piece, I think it's for a sensor. It just pushes on, push pulls off. But we're gonna go ahead and take that out and replace that one. We got the uh, pieces off up here and ended up having to take a file and file down where the two Allen wrenches were. And now I'm gonna take these bolts, which you can kind of see there's one at the bottom of the screen, one at the left screen, there's one up under there. Take those off, then I can pull the motor out the other direction and then replace that worm key. Grab the motor out. This one key here is just slotted. You see on the other one, they definitely need to be replaced though. And uh, we'll just pull this one off and then we'll pop this one off. Moment of truth. Um, the track, there was actually a bolt right here and one further back. I didn't get to mention that at the beginning of the video. But we're going to see if this thing works here. And uh, I wired everything back up to our control. I think it's this one. pretty good. I might just have to adjust the uh, how far up it goes just a little bit but looks like it's gonna be pretty close. And it stops at the downward part so that's great too. But yeah, it didn't take too long. Uh, it definitely will help if you've got a person helping you hold things. Um, if you can have somebody just kind of help them hold the motor up as you unscrew it, it would be great. But I fixed it and it was a lot less than buying a new motor.